In this video, we're going to learn how to solve exact equations. Before we define what an exact equation is, let's look at something we learned in Calc 1 and Calc 3. Um, so recall that if, if y is a function of x, then dy is equal to f prime of x dx. So if, if, if y is a function of x, and we would like to figure out the change in x whenever we're given, figure out the change in y when, when we're given the change in x, right? So the change in x is dx. So if, if x changed by an amount dx, how does y change? So this would be the formula. So of course, x is a given point. So for instance, if you want to find the amount of change at the point where x is five, then you just plug in five into the derivative. So remember, um, you learn, you probably learned this in Calc 1, and this is called differentials. The topic differentials. Okay. So an, an analogous concept in Calc 3 would be if y, no, if z is a function of x and y, then the change in z, which is dz, if we're given the change in y and x, would be df dx times the change in x plus df dy times the change in y, right? So df dx is the partial derivative with respect to x. All right, so this, this you learn this in Calc 3. And I'm going by the Manhattan College numbering of courses. Um, this is differentials, but it's called differentials also. All right. Now, observe something. Observe that if f is a constant function, let's say f of x, y is equal to c, where c is a constant, then the change in z would never matter. The change in z will always be zero, right? Because it doesn't matter how far you move in on the x, the x direction or the y direction, z is the same function because f of x, y is equal to z, right? Z is just going to be that constant. So dz is df dx times dx plus df dy times dy. And dz is always going to be zero. There will be no change in z. All right, so I want you guys to remember this. We're going to come back to this. This is going to be very helpful to us. All right, let's do an example. An example. Um, so let's consider... Consider the differential equation, the ODE, 2xy dx plus x squared dy is equal to 0. Okay. So this is a differential form way of writing an ODE. So let's consider this ODE. Uh, I've played around with this ODE. So I can, I can say a few things about it that you may not notice immediately. So this is what, what I've seen. If you look closely, you see that um, if f of x, y is equal to x squared y, then the f dy or df dx is 2xy and 
df dy is just x squared okay so what what do we see we see that if this is the function if this is our function um f of x y that i just made up i didn't make it up i i got it from looking very closely at the differential equation it turns out that this actually this is actually df dx and this here is actually df dy so what do we have we have df dx and then we have df dy is equal to zero so what is this telling us this is telling us that this is actually a differential a differential our differential equation is actually a differential of a particular function f all right okay i'm going to go ahead and proclaim something i can go and say that our function our ode the ode above is an exact differential um, differential equation <clears throat> oh. exact remember this an exact differential equation we're going to come back to this exact word now i want you guys to notice something note another thing this this is the first thing we just we're noting in this very interesting situation uh let me use dot how about dot <laughs> another thing i want you to note is this hmm so we have df dx is 2x y and then df dy is x squared how about this how about if we find let's also note something df df i want to find df dx dy so this is this is what i mean this is um yeah df dx dy which is the same thing as df which is the same thing as um let's do this d dx of df dy okay so this is d dx of df dx dy is x squared which is just 2x right and then let's try df dy dx which is the same thing as d dy of df dx which is d dy of 2xy which is 2x so notice something notice something these two things they are equal right these two are equal so let's see what we just did right if i call this let me call this equation let me call this m and let me call this n right i'm gonna call this m of x y doesn't matter you can put m of x y dx plus n of x y dy right what we just showed is that d dx of n of x y d dx of n of x y right is the same thing as d dy of m of x y is the same thing 
So this equation is exact and it's it's exhibiting this property. Hmm. What do you see? You see m the original equation is m dx plus n dy. But it also it now turns out that d dn dx is also equal to dy dm dy okay so be careful in the original equation this went with dy and then this went with dx but now we have that d, d dx d dy is equal to a d dx of n is equal to d dy of m okay so don't let that trick you now but what do we see we see that it should be it should be since we found a function f such that this is df dx dx the first term is df dx and the second term is, is df dy right if you find the partial derivative the second partial of any continuous function is equal is usually equal so df dx dy is usually equal to df dy dx so that makes sense all right so let's tie everything up together in a definition definitions okay so the first i'm going to i'm going to put number it number 1 m x y dx plus n x y dy is called an exact differential an exact differential in the region R of the xy plane if it corresponds to the differential of some function f of xy defined in that region r okay so this is an exact differential just this part just the left hand side of this equation is an exact differential right then if you add the right hand side it becomes an exact differential equation okay so we can now do an ode m x y dx plus n plus n of x y dy is equal to zero is said to be an exact ode or just an exact equation if the left hand side is an exact differential so if the left hand side is an exact differential so this is is an exact differential equation if the left hand side is exact and this is an exact differential if it corresponds to the differential of some function f so judging by the example we've done before the the first example we did this example right here we can actually test for to see we actually have now a test for if if, if to see if a function is is different is um it's an exact differential and it's written in the form i can write in the form of a theorem even though I won't state all the conditions. Well, let me state it. I'm going to say let M of X, Y and 
n of x, y have continuous, let it have continuous first partial derivatives. In a rectangular region. Rectangular region R. Then, then the differential equation M X Y uh, DX then m x y dx plus n x y dy is equal to zero is an exact ode if and only if if and only if this is true right and only if this is true. If and only if dx dn dn dx is equal to dm dy. That's how you check. Okay. Okay. So let's do an example. Or oh, let's go back to the first example that we, that we did. How about that? We go back to the first example we did. Mm. Let's go back here. Oh, do I want to solve? I want to solve this. I want to solve this. Let me go and solve this. All right. Okay. So let's do an example. examples i guess i'm going to call it number two now even though it's a repetition of the first one we did i want to paste but this is not letting me uh my handwriting is kind of awful today i don't know why i'm gonna get through this video copy and then paste right that's what i wanted all along to do so I'm gonna delete all these pink things as much, get rid of the pink as much as possible just to create some clarity. Okay, so we have this equation. The first thing is to show that the ODE is exact. So this is our N well, I got rid of all the pinks. Now I'm going to introduce them again. This is our M. This is our N. So we just have to show that the M, the N, dx, the N, dx is 2x, right? Which is 2x. You have to show that it's equal to the M, dy, which is also 2x, right? Therefore, ODE is exact so showing exact is very easy all right we can do that in our sleep now since it is exact let us solve solve the ode solve the ode if you look closely this equation actually it's separable. You can rearrange it and make it separable. But let's treat it like an exact equation, right? And see how we can solve it using the fact that it is exact. All right. So since it's exact, since we, even though we know, let's forget about the first example we did. Forget, just assume you didn't know what was going on in that example. Let's assume we didn't know the F. So since this equation is exact, since ODE is exact, 
there is there exists an f such that such that the f dx is equal to n no 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 is equal to m and the f dy is equal to n so we're going to use this we're going to use it to now get what f is so df dx if that is the case if oh what what am i doing that was cool but i didn't need to do it this time so if that is the case thus if we integrate m m of x y sometimes i call it m sometimes i call it m of x y so if we differ, if we integrate m dx we need to we'll get f right we are going to get our f and if we if we integrate the n integral n dy we we'll also get our f right okay so I don't know why I'm doing this in pink. I'm not loving this pink, but I've started, so I'm just going to continue. So this is integral. What is n? Uh, what is m? m is 2xy. m is 2xy dx, right? Which is the same thing as, well, let's go on another line, which is 2x squared y right all over 2 i'm just treating y as a constant and integrating with respect to x so this is just gonna cancel this out and you have x squared y but now you have your constant of integration but check this out your constant of integration has to be a function of y because you're treating y as a constant and you are take your doing your integral uh, dx. Okay, you do the same thing. N of x y dy would be integral x squared. I think it's x squared. Yes, x squared dy. So this would be uh, y. Mm, this would be x squared y. Oh, no, 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 no. X squared y plus g, no, let's call it d of x. Okay, let's clean this up a little bit. Clean it up. It's just x squared y, right? Just x squared y. Okay, now check this out. All right, this, each of this should give you f. Each of this should give you f. Right. So I'm going to call this C1, and I'm going to call this C2. I changed my mind. I don't know why, but I changed my mind. I'm allowed to change my mind. All right, so now look at this. This is your F. This function right here, this whole function is your F. This is your F of X, Y. This function over here is also your f of x y all right so this is common in both of them this should be equal this is common right now you have c1 of y and c2 of x mm. so they are there so they should be equal both of them should be equal to zero since there is no c of x over here and there is no there's no c2 of x there's not a function of that's tot there is not no function or no term in f of x y here that's totally a function of x and there is no term here that's totally a function of y so we can go ahead and cancel this out these two out it's not always the same thing so for that reason we can now say therefore therefore f of x y has to be equal to x squared y right now since since you have a differential equation and this is equal to zero this is a differential right so since the ode since the ode
since the ODE is the differential is the differential of of um, hold on I don't want to write too much but I've started already since the ODE is the differential or since since the left hand side left hand side of the ODE is the differential is the differential of F and is equal to zero this means is equal to zero this means F must equal a constant must must equal a constant this means therefore now this is a big therefore <laughs> therefore x squared times y is equal to constant c and this my friends is our solution this is our general solution okay so what steps did we take? Let's number them. We found this, we found that, and then we compared. I'm gonna do step three here. Compare, compare N, oh no, no, compare the two Fs. And then this is your final step. Well, this is an easy problem or a problem that doesn't have all the ingredients that we need. Let's try another problem and then I'll try to wrap it up. Uh, number two, how about we want to solve 2x plus y squared plus 2xy y prime Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite it, rewrite as, well, 2x plus y squared plus 2xy dy dx is equal to 0. This gives us 2x plus y squared dx plus 2xy dy is equal to 0. Now the question, the question of the century is this. You want to check if your ODE is exact. Is it exact? Is it exact? Are you exact? If you're an ODE, would you want to be exact? All right, so let's see. This is your M and this is your N. Now, to check if it's exact, all you want to do is check that dm dy is equal to dn dx. dm dm dy is 2y. Very, very good. It's 2y. And dn dx, dn dx is actually 2y. So it is exact. Very, very exact. Very, very exact AF. No, don't say that. All right, so, so we have that. We've checked that it's exact. Now, since it's exact, we can go ahead and do other things and to solve the equation. We know that, we, we now know that our M is the derivative with respect to X of the function F. All right, so m the m dx is equal to the integral 2x plus y squared dx and this should be equal to 2x squared over 2 which is just x squared plus x y squared plus c call it c1 and it should be a function of y right now 
let's see dy so i'm gonna draw a line here draw a line because i want to do it side by side why am i trying to do it side by side why not just go ahead and do this here the second step n this is integral n dy what is n n is 2xy integral 2xy dy all right so this 2xy dy is just gonna be x y squared right it's x y squared you agree with that x y squared yeah yes plus c2 but now c2 is a function of x so now you have to compare two things in your life now compare this function to this function they have to be equal right so this can be found here we got that c2 a function of x is right here just a function of x sitting right here now c1 of y a function of y totally a function of y is not found anywhere here right so we just go ahead and say oh this must not exist therefore we can now conclude that our function let's call it so f of x y is equal to x squared plus x y squared right and the fourth step the redundant step is a solution therefore solution to ODE is x squared plus xy squared is equal to C. And this is the general solution. It's called the general solution because it still has C in it. If you're now given initial conditions, then you can find your C. And these are all implicit solutions. So I want you to try a few. I'm going to give you... So this is number two. Even though I'm numbering this one, two, three, let's, let's renumber them with Roman numerals, uh, two, um, three, and then number four. So that's number two. I want you to try a few. Want you to try a few number, try these, try these, try them. Number four. Or oh, three, three, um, uh, hmm, e to the two y minus y cosine x y dx plus two x e to the two y plus x cosine x y plus two y dy. It looks like a lot, but it's actually very easy. Number four. Number four. Hmm. Let's see. What else can I do? 2x minus y dx plus 2y minus x dy. Is equal to zero now this is an initial value problem so that means you're going to find c okay so in each case you want to first of all check that they are um that they are exact okay all right let's stop here and i will see you in class if you're not taking the class i'll see you in the next video okay but